Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe. Maybe it's Amber's beh behavior and the way that she's been acting because she hasn't had her medication. I just think that she's being herself. Sometimes people use mental illness to get away with different things and treat people like shit and manipulate situations. And she probably do, Amber probably do have some mental issues as well as they say she's bipolar. You know, she has mood swings and things like that. Pro probably because of her childhood and things that she probably went through. But if you're getting medication and you're on TV and basically you have a child, it's up to you to get help. It's up to you to go to counseling. Okay, this show is one thing, but... Um, you got the money to do the things that you need to do. So anyways, you know, they're talking about Amber's, you know, um, chemical imbalance, her medication. And basically, they're looking at Tanya, basically, you know, as maybe she's overtaking medication, maybe she's undertaking medication because it said that she ran out. And so basically, Tanya, get her pills, her boyfriend, send them to her, whatever. I, get her, I bet you her boyfriend is, is siphoning off some pills for himself to some of them pain medication. So right now, she's out of her medication. She explains to the doctor that, you know, she's in pain because, you know, it feels like somebody is stabbing her spine with a knife. And that's not a good thing feeling at all so basically they don't think that you know um tiny's actually abusing the drugs it's just that like maybe her mood stabilizer her medication and all this other stuff is mixing together and basically cause that type of effect and basically amber is still in bed because she needs her medication she needs her pills so they think it's a good thing that she stays in bed because they don't know what to do if she goes off that's why it's like damn they, they should have did a lot of more research and made sure that these people had their medication at all times because it jeopardizes other people's safety and you know words hurt and you know amber could be saying a lot of hurtful things to people because she doesn't have a medication so i think the show is responsible for that in my opinion and then you also got renee sniffing pills from brandy getting you know her xanax which she was recovering from an addiction and like that shouldn't have happened you know i know brandy shouldn't have gave renee the pill or whatever but i don't think um brandy's the type of person that likes to say no um to people when they ask her for things because she wants to be she wants to be likable she wants to have friends so anyways renee is getting ready to go to her na meeting and she asked her sisters to come to support her and her sister was like oh no jennifer's like oh no we don't think it's a good idea. We think you need to do that shit on your own. We don't want. We don't want to be around you and them drug addicts. We don't want to hear about you guys confess your 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 sins and what you're going through. So basically, the two sisters don't want to be bothered with Renee. You know, situation. They don't want to hear her troubles, her trials and tribulation, which they say they want to understand her addiction, but they're not supportive at all. But they want. But yet again, they want Renee to support her as well. So this is going to take a blow where Renee is going to be. You know, the last activity they did camping. You know, the sisters did a really good job. Judge was complimenting them and now we now we get this bullshit where the sisters don't even want to support Renee when she doesn't support them and help them and you know and it's like damn they just was like yo what what were they doing where they couldn't go to an NA meeting they didn't want to be bothered you know a lot of people feel like you know NA meetings are for the weak people people are weak to go there if you on drugs and you get addicted to drugs you're weak but they don't understand the chemical balance that drugs cause where your body your organ your tissue your brain is addicted to and tell you to go get it because if renee could if renee had self-control she wouldn't have went to brandy for a pill you know she would have walked away so that i don't think that should have been set up there for renee to slip like that so anyways it is what it is the sisters are not supporting her then we find out that tanya's on an opiate basically and she hasn't been she's been with all her medication for four to five days but thankfully her medication came in so that's the pill room like if you want to get high go Check out Amber and Toya. You can get hot and party. And if you want to smoke some trees, you go to Jimmy's room and smoke some trees and get high. <laughs> like, this is a drug addicted show. <laughs> but anyways, Jimmy doesn't have a problem. Because marijuana is not a drug to me as well. It's a natural herb that grows in the ground. It's what you do with it. And once you mix it and you grow it in a certain type of way, you grow it with chemicals, then it becomes a drug. So anyways, it is what it is with that situation. So... Um, basically the doctors don't feel Renee, I mean, the doctors don't feel that Amber or, um, Tanya really have a substance abuse problem or, or they believe they're not abusing their medications and blahs in the third, but they're trying to protect their self and their reputation because they're on TV. Any, any real medical person would be like, yo, this is wrong. This is not, you know, like they shouldn't be running out of their pills. It should be accounted for. Basically, I know they're adults with everything and everything like that, but when you have people that suffer from drug abuse and drug addiction and trying to get clean, you monitor them especially on a show like this because it's going to be a lot of emotion and a lot of triggers for people to want to go back to abusing drugs so you will make sure that that's that doesn't happen so 
Anyway, especially with Dr. Ish being like in charge of a rehab facility or a substance abuse facility or whatever, you think he would be on it more, but it is what it is. And so, <laughs> I'm just like, damn, they're on their thing. So anyways, basically now we got to get this exercise of people saving, you know, you're going to have somebody, the family is going to need to save another person in the family. And so basically, you know, Dr. You know, v, she, she grabs Chrissy, Toya, Guy, and Renee. Basically, they're going to be saved because, you know, they have the most hardest time communicating their feelings and and, sh and just being able to communicate how they feel towards, you know, with their family members. So basically, they're going to put them on a raft and the other family members are going to have to save them. So Dr. Ish has Mama Jones, have Jim Jones, have Jennifer, uh, Lita, Lena, and Brandy, basically. And... Um, what they're going to do is they're going to have to go out there and, and and rescue their family member blindfolded in a raft with, you know, um, <laughs> and with orgs and shit like that to try to save them. And basically, they have to go by directions. And basically, all the families are doing terribly, but except for, you know, um, what's her name? Tanya. Tanya's doing excellent. Her and Matt are actually doing excellent, excellently. <laughs> they're doing they're doing a wonderful job and basically tanya is able to communicate really well so it shows you that tanya does have the ability to communicate and follow directions and give directions as well so if amber and matt would take some time to listen to tanya she could probably save their relationship and save them because she's been through it all and now she's suffering and she can barely speak as much and she's quiet and she doesn't want to get erratic with her daughter whatever but i think her daughter can learn something from her now because at one time in point you know tanya probably wasn't the, the greatest mom in the world and amber regrets you know all the shit that she's been through with her mom but her mom can explain to her why she went through it and and how amber should not go through it and help her with her child where therefore the generational curse is not passed down. So I'm really proud of Tanya being able to communicate and Matt actually listening. So maybe it kind of seems like Matt and Tanya can actually help Amber through her situation because Amber is filled with a lot of hate. So if they, they're all able to communicate together, maybe Amber could understand. But Amber just seems like she's just so volatile and so mean and she doesn't want to change. She always wants to point the blame at somebody except for herself. And she's very defensive. So I know it's going to take a lot to help Amber because she's just in that stage where me 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 and I'm the victim and you guys F me up and if you don't follow what I say follow then that means you're against me so she's at that stage and point and maybe she might go out of it I don't know if Amber actually has custody of her child but if she does it's a travesty of Miss Justice to have her be a full-time mom in my opinion because like she can't come for his certain things she's always thinking someone's attacking her and coming after her like when you say like when the doctors are telling her that matt and you know and tanya did a good job and when matt said to her that oh me and your mom worked well together she gets upset and she gets mad and she thinks that oh you guys are doing it without me oh my god you guys are not great without me what do you guys have to relate it's like the jealousy the hate and the envy that comes towards that that she doesn't want to see peace in her family unless she's actually the one causing the peace and people following her so it is what is with that situation so we get Renee and her sisters Jennifer and Lena and basically you know Renee is just yelling and screaming she's really not giving them directions because Renee is it's hard to talk to Renee because Renee is just she's rambunctious she's loud and she can be destructive with her words and mean and she can actually scare you for and you not wanting to say anything to her because you don't want it to pop off and go left because she's going to out yell you and out scream you and Renee can go on and on and on and she won't stop so anyways Lena is getting kind of nervous she's getting claustrophobic you know her blood pressure is rising she's having an asthma attack as well because of the life jacket and then on top of that you know she feels guilty about not going to support Renee and she knows that they're going to bring that up and she wish she would have but you know and then on top of that she's in this little you know um boat or whatever a little raft or whatever and then now she's trying to get there and she's trying to win and she know Renee is going to be upset with her too as well so she starts to have a panic attack and basically she can't breathe they get her out the water Renee's yelling and screaming calling her name thinking that she's lying she's faking it. she's always trying to get out of the situation Renee gets upset she jumps in the pool and she starts swimming like mad woman over there and checking on her sister and she sees that okay my sister doesn't have something is wrong with her but she still believes that her sister did it to get out of it and we know Lena has a um, reputation 
a reputation of lying and leaving exercises. So it's 50-50, but it looks like something was really wrong with Lena. If the doctors believe something was wrong with her, then maybe it is true. But Renee was like, I know my sister. I know who she is. I, I done grew up with her. I done live with her. I know everything. So I know when she's doing some bullshit. So, <clears throat> there's no forgiveness, and Jennifer is just the one in between. Like, she gets along with both sisters, and basically, she bounced back and forth. She's like the basketball between the two sisters, trying to cause trying to have peace and she don't want to be on this person the one Lena's side she doesn't want to be on Renee's side she's just in the middle where she needs to call out who's wrong and who's right and actually be a voice in the family so anyways they don't really com um, complete the exercise and so then we got Jimmy we got Jimmy and Chrissy and you know Chrissy's not really giving direction she's laughing she's kind of taunting them as well she's talking about her booty hurts and blah 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 in the third and you got Mama Jones worrying about her hair getting wet you got Jim Jones going all in circles and he's all because they all got on blindfolds and he finally he breaks one of his orgs and then he was like okay now this is do or die now so he started using his arm he gets out of the he gets he gets away from Brandy because they was like kind of like bonded together a little bit and then that's when Chrissy started giving directions and they get over there they get Chrissy they save her and Jimmy Jones is in Jim was in his confession and was like you know getting Chrissy is gonna be very heavy like we're gonna sink <laughs> Chrissy was like what <laughs> so anyways <clears throat> they're able to complete the exercise mama Joan gets involved and it seems like if Jim once Jim you know Jim's the leader and they follow so they follow his behavior so if he can if, if he just shows like the man role and not be the mama's boy and show the man role then his mom won't mother him as much because she'll believe that he's a man now and I'm gonna let my man go but she thinks he's still a little boy and could be taken advantage of and then with you know so then that will get mama Jones out the way where she will respect him as being her as being a grown man and not her baby son and so anyways they did that until so we get um, Brandy and we get Guy. Guy's really not giving any directions because basically Guy doesn't think Brandy can do it. He thinks that she's going to fall out. He thinks that, oh, she should have been on the other side because she has this loud voice. It would have been clear. But basically it's hard for people to hear over each other because they both have the microphones and um, the, the things in their hand. Um, so it's like... Um, it's hard for them to hear from each other, whatever. So Brandy finally gets over there to to her father, and basically he's telling, she's saying, "Hey, pass me this, pass me that." And he was like, "No, that's breaking the rules." And basically, he always breaks the rules, and he knows the rules have been broken. But he's not trying to help Brandy in the way. He's not trying to be, you know, let like, let's do this together, whether we win or whether we lose, whether we cheat or not. But we're doing this together. And you found me with the blindfold on. I know that she actually had the blindfold off at this time and point. And so, because, you know, the sisters, Renee's sisters and Brandy, since they was the last runners up, they was able to take off the blindfolds. And so, she gets upset with her father and she she throws the org at him, try to hit him. And so, then he finally gets into the boat. So, basically, it shows you that, you know, the father wants to be this pristine person. Like, oh, no, do it this way, do it that way. Instead of saying, let me just go roll with my daughter. Like, let me, you know what I mean? So, once again, I think the exercise should have been switched switch where you know guys should have been you know trying to save brandy because brandy did the exercise with the you know attack dogs while he's sitting he watches and he doesn't do much and he should have been over there rescuing and saving his daughter and brandy should have been able to communicate with her father so the 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 revolt should have been reversed with them too in my opinion so it is what it is with that situation and so now once they complete the exercise they have a card game to do and the card game is communication with these cards these cards say shut up be quiet go away basically all the opposite of what you're supposed to do in the conversation so it is what it is i was like so renee as soon as she gets a chance and what you know when lena's talking about like you know i feel like you know i'm, I'm over here i'm getting mistreated that you you're using me to be a punching bag and look stupid on the show and that's how lena feels like because damn everyone think she's a liar and basically she chose Renee's ex-husband you know side or whatever so now she looks real bad and then she's using her kids and the child she 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 down Renee in court with the custody of kids and so and then Renee's always yelling and screaming at her even though they look just fucking alike and so then Renee so once she says how she feels Renee says shut up so you know it's hard to communicate with Renee when Renee's not at that place where she's ready to receive communication then it's not gonna happen because you know Renee is wild and she will cuss you out in a heartbeat and yell and she and she, and she don't need a microphone she don't need anything in her hand 
And so then <laughs> Jennifer tries to say something too. And then, and you know, Renee goes, you're wrong or whatever. So Renee's not trying to hear it because she's upset with her sister because they didn't support her or her N.A. So anyways, but you know what? Renee came back from her N.A. meeting. You know who who supported Renee? It was Mama Jones. Mama Jones was like, N.A., N.A. She did a dance. She hugged her. And basically Mama Jones was like, you don't, people, your sisters don't, they don't understand how it's, it's important for them to support us when we go to an NA meeting. So the Mama Jones have a drug addiction that we didn't a drug addiction that we didn't know about. So, anyways, Mama Jones is actually supporting Renee and being there for her and hugging her as soon as she came back from NA. And then you got Renee. She runs to tell Amber what was going on. Amber was like, "I would have supported you, Amber." You so Amber is so quick to support Renee with her NA meeting and want to be there from Renee. But when Matt goes to talk to her, she tells him to go away and she don't want to be bother and she's mean towards him so it's like she pick and chooses who she wants to be nice to anytime in a moment because how could she be nice to Renee and then mean to Matt you know when he says like you know what we're making some progress with our family because we actually won this exercise and she's upset about it because she wasn't there to be um, in the mix or whatever and it seems like she doesn't want her mom and her boyfriend to get along she wants them to constantly be bickering whether you know he should to, to bicker over her that's what it seems like so it is what it is. And then, you know, um, Jimmy J Jimmy doesn't want to really be be involved in the exercise as well as either. So, you know, Chrissy was like, well, Jimmy's opening up to say, okay, what do you want? What do you want to talk about, Chrissy? And Chrissy's like, I want you to clean up. I want you to, I want you to cook or whatever. And then Jimmy goes, shut up. And then Jimmy looks high as a kite doing this drill or whatever. And then Mama Jones is like, I went, I'm done, I'm over. <laughs> it's it. So anyways, then you get Jennifer. Jennifer first, she's in the exercise and she's telling, and, and Renee's telling her to shut up. <laughs> Renee was, Renee's in her confessional. I wish these guys had F you, asshole, um, all this other stuff. Lena just, she just feels attacked and, and you know, Renee's telling her to shut up. And, you know, she feels like she's being punished. And Jimmy, Jim's playing with the cards. Basically, he wrote, like, this is what Lena should say to, you know, Renee when she started, shut the F up, Renee, <laughs> basically. So Jimmy shows her the card, and it's all funny and funny, fun and games or whatever. So it, it, it's nice to see, you know, some people noticing that Renee is really hard on Lena. You know, maybe Lena deserves it, but she's really hard, and, sh and we're supposed to be changing here. We're not supposed to be using the same behavior. It's supposed to be learning from these you know, exercise. So it's good to see that Jimmy notices. And I guess, I bet you Lena felt good about that situation where, you know, Jim Jones was supporting her, you know, and somebody noticed. So it is what it is. And so, <laughs> so Renee is just upset with Lena because she chose her ex side and she's going in on that. You know how Renee is with relationship and guys. And if you don't, if you don't choose the right way with a guy, when it comes to Renee, you don't choose her way. It's over. So even, even though we know Renee, ex-husband is a no good, dirty dog. He snitched on the father. He put them back in jail. He set up, you know, big Ange people and all this other stuff. But anyways, you know, she's letting him to continue to have reckoning and ruin her life, which is a sad thing. So it is what it is with that situation. And so, so then basically, um, Ember, she finally, you know, she comes downstairs to the to the meeting or whatever. And basically, she's not really that happy because she wasn't a part of the meeting or whatever. So basically, they talk about who won. They say, you know, Matt and Toya won. Um, Jim Jim and Kim, and um, Chrissy won. And Mama Jones in third was, you know, Guy and Brandy. And last was Renee and her sisters. And basically, if you did the roles reverse, it'll still be the same way because the exercise was about communication. And it was just really shocking that, you know, um, Tanya was able to communicate better than everybody. And everybody been laughing at her, basically being high and being intoxicated. But it sees, but it makes you see that she can actually be coherent and actually do things while she is intoxicated. But she's not... <clears throat> While she is full of medication because because she needs the medication for her back and thing probably she probably suffered from a lot of different things that happened to her or whatever so it is what it is basically and they're giving you know Amber I mean they're giving you know Tanya and Matt props and you know Doctor Ish and so then you know um, 
Amber gets upset. She don't want to be bothered. She don't want to hear it. She's she's mad. She was like, I don't think, because she feels like they're saying that since Amber wasn't there, that they were able to get along, and that's not right. You think I'm the problem? Like she she takes everything the wrong way, so she storms out. And Doctor Ish look at her, let her go. Doctor Ish look like he's he's like fed up with her, because I think that she, Doctor Ish realized that she uses her sickness to manipulate situations to go her way for people to feel sorry for her. And basically, when she gets angry or when she gets upset and she goes off, she can say, oh, I'm not, I'm unstable. It's my medication. Basically, how can you help a person like that that got so many excuses they can fall back on? You know what I mean? So I don't know if it's actually, I, I think, I think um, Tanya's actually going to learn something and I think Matt's going to learn something. But, you know, I guess we'll be watching to see if Amber actually learned something. So it is what it is with that situation. So they talk about, you know, Renee just being really disrespectful and rude with her cards and using the shut up card and basically her sister's not supporting her and shit like that so Matt he goes upstairs being a man that he is he goes upstairs and check on her and even though that he might get yelled or cussed out at he goes there and he and but Amber's able to receive what he's saying and he goes like yo listen it's a really good exercise it's something that we can learn that we do when we have conversations so it kind of clicked in Amber's head okay yeah it's probably the right thing to do and she goes back downstairs and she hugs her mom so it also makes you sh it shows you that Amber is still a child because you know even though she was scared to go back downstairs because the way that she she got up and left when she came back downstairs she 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 you know growled or hugged towards her mother like you know they might be against me but at least I got my mom you know what I mean so you know Amber is back and forth with her situation <laughs> so then Judge Tola she comes downstairs and whatever and basically she talks to Chrissy talking about Chrissy you should have said more it shouldn't have just been about cooking because Jim is ready to open up and telling Jimmy that Jimmy Jim's open up to the exercise and if he if he's the leader and everybody will follow things will be better between them and because she described when Jimmy got it to when Jim got it together and the raft everybody else got it together so he's the leader so he needs to lead and stop being you know a wussy <laughs> And, and letting everything go by and basically they got to guy guy not actually helping his daughter and basically you know brandy needs to have more patience with her father and you know um judge tola thinks brandy's in a good place and she's and she's at peace but you know and basically she's just saying that guy needs to be more of a father than just a friend amen to that so then we get renee and then you know dr tola's like yo i mean i'm um, just told us like renee you need to stop letting your ex come into your life and bring and, and, and wreck it like he shouldn't have no more say in your family like you shouldn't blame your sisters because he manipulated all of y'all and that's what he did he manipulated all of them so basically she also said you sisters need to support your sister for real for real because she's supporting y'all and it's the same <laughs> and so basically she just says Matt and you know um um, Tanya did a great job and basically they won and they're going to get the ice cream and all that other good stuff but basically Amber got to stop just being so upset man and just stop playing the victim and she can actually get something out of this exercise she can actually get something um, so this was a good this was a good episode or whatever it, it, it got it had you see where Renee is really mad because of a man that's number one. And Jimmy needs to stand up and be a leader. And it's and you get to see that, you know, Tanya actually can communicate with Matt. And maybe she can communicate with Matt about what her daughter wants and communicate with Matt about what he should do and help him. And then they can communicate with Tanya where, you know, Amber's hurt by, you know, certain situations that happened in her childhood. And if Tanya actually, and if Amber can actually receive and communicate at the same time without playing victim and, and pointing the finger because the past is the past. It's time to move on to the present, baby. So peace them out. One love to all my peeps and my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated. From the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Mary Jane signing off. Much love.